Welcome to NBA Jam! Hey there everyone, this is Doc Sider 2K7 aka Sean Sky Caesar. Yes, your studio has been busting his ass making these videos, but I do it for you guys. Why? Because I like you a lot. Well, in case, okay, this one I got from watching Outkick. Um, apparently, the NBA, uh, ABA's Adam Silver is saying that social justice and Black Lives Matters will disappear next year, next season. To this point, I was like, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? I mean, heck. I mean, heck, let's be real. Let's be fucking real on this whole situation. I mean, this whole thing is is really, really uh, is really dumb, dumb on the NBA's part. And I think the reason, and I think people are actually sick and tired of, of the woke shit. And knowing, and knowing the NBA, and and dumbass LeBron James, he, he decided to up the fucking ante by by uh, by trying to say that he's only doing it for the greater good or some shit like that. That ain't the case. That that ain't the fucking case right there because it's like what. What Adam Silver and these and these woke NBA players like LeBron James fail to realize is that people just want to go to get away from this stuff and to see that whole Black Lives Matter painted on the court during the during the regular season NBA playoffs and the NBA Finals and also social justice messages that are on the players' jerseys. Oh, let me rephrase that: social justice messages that was approved by Twitter. On uh, social justice, it, it, it's said it best, and everyone is like, and I'm pretty sure that everybody is like, oh, like, why should we go back? I mean, you already said. I mean, y'all was doing this just to, um, to like, uh, watch, to pick your own fan base and whatnot. It's so, it's so insane, and it's so tiresome. Tiresome. I mean, it, I mean, Adam Silver should know that that his league, that the that the league is fucked, is fucked because you know they decided to go the whole woke route, woke route. But he was trying to say, but he was trying to save face on this whole situation. No surprise though, because he was just trying, trying, oh, so trying to try to. Make it make him sound like he he was actually better than David Stern or some shit. Newsflash, he's not. Newsflash, he's not. I mean, heck, at least. And here it is. This is written by Ryan Gosling. Adam Silver said that the NBA social justice message will be largely left off the court next season. Adam Silver sat down in an interview with Rachel Knowles of on NBA Cat earlier this week. It indicated that social justice messages that you see on courts and back of players' jerseys will be largely left off the floor next season. Here's the relevant question to answer, Rachel. The NBA has certainly been the most valuable, visible billion dollar organization champion civil social justice and civil rights. As you noted in your press conference the other day, though, that has not been universally popular. How committed are you uh, that being pro for Adam Silver? We're completely committed to standing for social justice and racial equality, and that's been the, the case going back decades. It's part of the DNA of this league. How it's got, it gets manifested is something we're going to have to sit down and, and the, with the players to discuss for next season. I would say, in terms of messages you see on the court in our jersey, this is an extraordinary moment in time when we begin these discussions with the players and what we all live through this summer. My sense is that there will be somewhat a return to normalcy, that those messages will largely be left to be delivered off the floor. And I understand those people who are saying, I'm on your side, but I want to watch the basketball game. The ratings have fallen perpetually throughout the playoffs, especially during the NBA Finals. I understand that the NBA is out of season. Other out of season sports like hockey and horse racing are down a lot too. And it's weird with no fans in the sense. 
The NBA is competing against football games and MLB playoffs, where it normally has national sports fans' attention mostly to themselves. And it's a miracle to see they pulled off the bubble for their fans and TV partners. But on the other hand, the league's biggest star, LeBron James, the sexiest franchise, the Los Angeles Lakers, are setting one all-time low after another after another for NBA fans views it. Consequently, this is close to the direct analysis from the NBA commissioner as you'll ever see that it betting the social justice advocacy directly onto the on into an on-court product hurts viewership. What proportion you want to assign to that phenomenon can be a matter of opinion and conjecture. You can't deny it. After watching that interview, after you can't deny that after watching the video that Silver believes that it it has to contribute to crime. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like the thing was is that everybody, everybody knows Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter. But the thing is that people just want to watch a basketball game, man. They don't want. They want to get away from politics. But LeBron James and these fucking idiots, they just they just want it. And and why should they go back to? I mean, I mean, heck, they want to. I mean, heck, the fact that they want to, they, um, uh, hear, hear what, a player who actually stands for the National Anthem gets injured in some horrific way, to hear that Twitter actually mocked the man for, for, uh, not taking a knee during the National Anthem for some stupid ass Black Lives Matter movement, or the fact, the fact that, uh, that Twitter, that also Twitter is also the ones who always get mad at players who actually stand for the National Anthem, you know, standing to be proud for their country. I mean, for fuck's sake! I, I mean, for fuck's sake! I'd rather play NBA 2K Playgrounds too. I mean, yeah, I got, I got all my players, but I mostly play with, but I mostly level up my players. Don't worry, I'm not playing LeBron. He, don't worry, I won't be playing with LeBron. I already diamond his ass, ass, and most of my videos are is me just whooping his ass, whooping his ass like a, ass like he stole something, obviously. But like I said, it would, like I said. The NBA is gonna suffer from this because it's like they should have stayed out of po they should have had the games we play and keep politics out. But no surprise, Adam Silver and LeBron and LeBron James, who is the bitch, had to bring politics in it. It's similar. It's it's just like how uh, Colin Kaepernick got, brought uh, politics into the NFL when he would. But he lost his job. He just want to be a social justice warrior. And also Adam Silver, he is sneaky. And also Adam Silver, he's sneaky as it. I thought I also got word that back in July of 20, back in July of this year, he gave a max donation to the Biden campaign. So we so we already know where his fucking fucking uh politics uh, uh lies right there. Right there. But like I said, it's going to be kind of hard because, you know, the, I mean, if you look at the NFL, I mean, they are bringing, I mean, they're trying to, trying to bring the fans back because, you know, they see that by pushing social justice bullshit, um, it's causing, it's causing both viewership and money. Two things that the NBA, that, that sports leagues thrive. So... But I mean, the writing was fucking on the raw for the NBA. But instead of the, but instead the woke ass media, the woke ass sports media, uh, and influ and Twitter and lottery and all these idiots, they're trying to say that oh you don't know anything, oh this is nothing, it's because of the fans. Yeah, that's not the case because you know you got people still locked still in their homes during this whole pandemic and they still don't want to watch it. Like I said, it's just that people are sick and tired of multi million. Multi-millionaire, fuck, multi-dumb, multi-millionaires, keep telling people like, telling people how, oh, they're a bad person, they don't fit the same politics and all that other bullshit. Hell, I'm getting sick and tired of it, man, because it's like I just want to enjoy some shit, enjoy some some shit. But no, 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 no. Y'all was like, oh, you don't care about black black lives matter. Oh, I like, yeah. The problem is, I care about black, like, uh, yeah. You say I don't care about black guys? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, where was you when we are killing each other on the street for some petty bullshit? I don't hear y'all motherfuckers say Black Lives Matter then. You didn't say it then and you didn't say it now. 
You only say Black Lives Matter when it's only when it's only a white person shooting shooting another black person. Probably probably a person who's actually a criminal who is on the wrong side of the law. So you know, like I said, Adam Silver, LeBron James, you fucking brought this on yourselves, man. Y'all really did. That's that's it. That's all. I just want to get this video out out here, just to put my two cents on it. I mean, you can leave if you got. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to do. Just like I said, this is my own opinion and my opinion alone. All right, but I will like to hear from you anyway. So you know, as always, be sure to leave the comment, like the video, sub to my channel, click the notification bell, uh, blah blah, uh, blah blah blah, etc. etc. Blah blah, etc. etc. Okay. All right. Well, and I will catch y'all later. Until next time, this is Darkside Two K Seven, AK Side of Sky Caesar. Catch y'all later. Peace. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you new ones out. That's right.